Alright, how's it going? Today we're doing Shattered Throne, so the flawless. Using Arkstrader Hunter. Um, nothing particularly special. Using Assassin's Cow, a 1 to 1 shotgun, along with Wither Horde and Storm Chaser for boss damage. This dungeon is extremely easy. Um, the main time sink is that she's just moving around. The bosses take about a minute to half a minute each, so just shooting one shot off because I got a crown cartridge would be useful for Vorgoth. So for this section, all you have to do is kill the seven Labyrinth Architects. They'll be scattered around the map and once you kill one, it'll tell you where next to go with the symbol. You also have to kill four acolytes to activate the next one. So we're coming up on the first one here. What we're going to do is we're going to stick him with the Wither Horde and we're going to start killing Acolytes and so we get the 1-2 punch combination going up. There we go, first one done. I should mention that I am using 4 Transcendent Blessing mods to get a 20% damage boost on everything, and I suggest everyone else do the same. Makes it a lot easier. So we're just going to run around. We're going to the Temple of the Infinite now. It's the Infinite Snake. We're going to kill some thralls on the way, just to keep combination work going. Right here, now that we have the combination blow, we're just going to get one stick. And one one two punch combo with the current or kill. Now on to the two fish. Which is right here, we've got the phalanx boss. Gonna clear the acolytes out and then easy. Clear the whole one two punch done. now onto the W snake, which is just over here. I am going to lose combination blows, so I'm not going to bother with the captain that spawns there. Binary shrine, that's what it's called. Now that I don't have combination blow, I'm just going to stick with the horde and try to build a button, build the stacks up again. The Wither Horde has taken out almost all of his health, as you can see, just by itself. Then it's whatever. So now we've got the Tower of the Deep, it's the dragon, which is just over here. Kill that guy to keep up the stacks. Here I f oh, no, it's fine. thought I forgot to dodge, but I didn't. Yeah, that's done. Now we're on to the end fish. Which I believe is garden of the property. Yep, got another profit. Gonna build those stacks in. I accidentally missed a little horde, but it doesn't matter too much. Now we've got Tower of the Sky, which is right next to us. Okay. 
is going to keep running through everything because you don't have to kill anything apart from the acolytes and the archetypes. And now we're back to the middle beginning. And there we go. On to the next bit. Which is just a running through everything section. So. Then we're gonna wither horde and use a super here. Just because I don't I have it on hand and it's easy to kill the captain. Now we're gonna run up to the left, we're gonna get visibility of this knight. And that just allows us to avoid most of the sniper fire. Gonna get invisibility off this off goblin here, and then just keep running. Now on to the beam section, my favorite section. I'm gonna pause up here to see where the blight's gonna spawn. It spawns right next to us, so we're gonna go to the next one with the ogre. Gonna run past him. Gonna do the same for this one. If you want to play it a bit more safe, you can kill them, no harm. So we're going to avoid that blight here, then jump over to the next bit. Going to run straight into this ogre, going to do some jumping to try and avoid his blasts. And we're going to continue to the shadow realm. bit is really not hard once again just walk straight through it don't even need to pay any attention to any of the thrall if you do get low get a melee kill to get your health back and get some invisibility and just keep going. Now that we're coming out though, our health won't regenerate until we take damage, so we're going to have to get a melee kill here to get our health back. So our health stops bugging out. Now onto this bit. Just gonna run straight through everything like before. You can run straight through these, uh, these booby things because there's a very low chance that they'll actually hit you if you just run straight through all of them. I'm 
jump over here, and then we're going to hug the left to avoid all these phalanxes. And then just jump up behind them and go straight through. Now onto this bit just before Vorgoth. You don't want to jump down into the arena immediately because if you are sprinting you can like you can pass the load zone without activating it because it hasn't spawned yet. And if you do that, if you jump down, then the run is over, you soft logged. So you're gonna wanna stay up there until you get the darkness zone, until you get the new objective, and then jump down. Now, onto the Vorgoth fight, all you gotta do is kill the four wizards, pick up the orbs, and then activate one of the four torches in the middle. And the easy one-two punch combo to kill them. Just taking out the goblins and also getting out some stacks. Now Volgoth, if he sees you, he will shoot his beam. If you break line of sight after you activate the damage phase, he will start shooting these things, these uh, axiom darts. You want to start off with a super and a wither horde, and then just continue to use storm chaser. I use storm chaser because you can easily kill all the axiom darts. As you can see, his health is just chunking down anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. He was hiding behind the pillar a bit, that was a bit annoying, but. Apart from that, very, very easy. On to the next running through everything section. <laughs> this dungeon is a joke. So we're just going to run straight for the lift. Don't make a noise, the wizards won't notice you. Even if they do, they won't attack you if you just run straight at them. This bit here with the acolytes and the knights, we can run straight through as well. There used to be some phalanxes up here, but I don't know what happened to them. Anyway, these captains are a bit annoying, but we can just jump straight over them. Now here we're going to go to the right to avoid all these fans. And then get up the left. Easy. stuck on that for a bit, doesn't matter too much. More captains, just gonna jump straight over them. We're gonna kill the last one because we're gonna use the Shadow Thrall in the next bit to get a super and the captain can also just join them up there. So now I'm just getting super energy. Probably should have put hands on on the helmet but it doesn't matter too much.
and now we've got enough super, so we just kind of run. Got some phalanxes here, gonna jump over the first two, then jump around the second two. Once again, another booper wall. Run straight through them, no problem. If you do get hit, you should be able to just use triple to jump to jump back. Run past these soft goblins, kill this one, because okay. And now we're approaching the final boss. This dungeon is really, really easy. So, on to this boss fight. Gotta kill the three Dark Blades and then kill the, the Wizard. So, we're gonna start off with the Wither Horde and the Super. That should kill all of them. As you see, it killed two here and one teleported away. But fortunately, he's gonna teleport right back into it and we're gonna just die like that. So, now they've done that, gonna Wither Horde, gonna use this Pillar as cover and then just go to town with the linear. As you can see I get low here so I'm just going to use the melee to get health back. And that's it. Easy peasy. So yeah, really easy dungeon. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this was helpful. Like and subscribe, do all that. And thanks for watching. Bye.